Hi, I'm Luke Sherville. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're going to talk about the Godox F200 by. So that's a flex light and it's ostensibly 200 watts and it's by color. So tunable white between like 2700 Kelvin and 6500 Kelvin. And we're going to compare it to the Amaran F22C that's been out for quite a while. Uh, the difference being that the Amaran F22C, C for color, has full color. So uh, the F200 by, by Godox, is actually 26 inches square. So if you put the box on it, it's 26 inches square. The Amaran is just a regular two feet by two feet. So at the moment, I'm being keyed by the Godox two by two and the Amaran is banging into the wall here, uh, else you would see it, you would see the reflection in the, in the window here. I'm just sitting in the um, back uh, guest room and you're seeing out into the backyard. So uh, there is some other ambience going on here. I'm not going to get too particular about our uh, light readings, but um, uh, just a simple comparison of sort of form factor and, uh, and, and the like. With the Godox, you get a case that is substantial. It's well made. And here is a comparison with the Amaran case. So put them next to each other like that. The Amaran case is about uh, half the size you get the actual flex mat, you get the soft box that breaks down, and with the Godox you get one diffusion front. With the Amaran you get two, you get sort of like a half grid and a full white, full grid. With the Godox you basically get the full grid diffusion. Uh, and then each one has a, uh, a grid that comes with it. It's not a very substantial grid, but for the price, it's great. And then you get a control box. So uh, you get a head lead with the unit, and then you get an extension uh, head lead. And uh, so, you know, pretty nice run, plenty of, of cable. And then here, uh, even though the F200 by is part of the NOLED series, which is the sort of more pro version of Godox, uh, you don't get internal CRMX. And that's true for the Amaran as well. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Godox uh, Timo link, and this is the receiver. And so uh, you plug that in for power because there's no battery in this receiver. You plug that into USB, which is on the unit, but it's quite far away from the hardwired DMX, so it's good to have a long cable, which actually came with uh, one of these. And works well with the AKS uh, transmitter and blackout. That all works fine. If you were to use this uh, Godox receiver with a Godox transmitter, like here I have it on a little DMX it box, uh, when this is on and, and working, then the lights, uh, when these two talk to each other, these CRMX lights go red. And uh, now when I have it talking to the AKS transmitter, they're blue. So uh, interesting. You also see that on this control box, you have two places to put V-mount batteries. Now, if we were to be crazy and for whatever reason, just pull our power out. All right. And plug it back in, it comes right back. So that's nice to know. And now let's see if we put some batteries on it. So here I have two handy dandy 26 volt Nanlite batteries. What if we turn this off by pulling the power? Don't do this at home. It's better to turn off your unit. Put on one, nothing happens. Put on two, 
and it all comes back to where it was. So that's nice to know. You can throw on two 26 volt batteries and not all flex lights do this, right? The Amaran does, but uh, you can put 14 volt bats on it or you can put 26 volt bats. So that's really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna pull them off at the same time. And put our power back on. One, two, three, nice. And we're back. I had this controlled with Blackout. I don't have a proper profile for it. I'm, I'm using a different profile uh, because I don't have this in Blackout yet, but it, it's working fine, except that uh, where the color is on uh, Blackout is not where the color is on my meter. So uh, for my meter to get 5,600 out of this unit, I'm uh, putting it at 4750. So we'll get rid of the Amaran. And now we just have our ambient light here and our unit. Rather than watching me take meter readings, here's the chart. I waited till it got dark and could just do it uh, easily. Then these are my readings. Nothing really jumps out at you. It's all well within tolerance. If you're in the sort of 2700 Kelvin range, you're probably going to get more magenta. But Overall, pretty good. That gets us to be where it's negligible. So, you know, when you have a bicolor unit and you don't have full color to play with, then you do have to compromise as, as, as a unit goes. But we've been doing that forever. And um, yeah, so that is closer, uh, 2700, but and 94 on RF. So it, it's, it's, uh, you know, there's a little bit of correction there. You don't have the color to play with like a full color unit, but um, it's nothing we haven't done before. Let's go back to where we were. And that's this guy only. Uh, we'll run that up to 100, uh, nice and bright. At 100, when I'm looking at wattage, it's 226 watts. So it is a little above 200, but you know, negligible. Uh, and then just as far as output goes, that's 140 foot candles. This is at basically five feet. Now let's have a little um, comparison with the Amaran. So we'll turn that guy on and we'll spin it around. It's on me pretty well there. Same five footish. Take our reading there. All right, let's skip all that. Here it is, uh, just the facts. And this is, you know, my Siconic C800. So it's just one meter's opinion. So uh, that's the beauty of having a unit that has the color. You can rely on the RGB availability to make your white a clean white between warm and cool. Now let's look at the control box, the Amaran, you know, it's, it's been out for a while. So it's a, it's a little messy in terms of, you know, how it's all put together. You have a dongle that you can put a receiver on. And I have this on battery because there's, you know, no place to sort of plug in uh, for power of this. And we're using the AC adapter in the place of the battery. So, you know, it has a little battery mount on it, which is nice. Uh, but if we wanted to go to battery, I'll pull the power again, put the 26 volt battery on and boom, we're, we're back to the races. So again, not exactly hot swappable, but uh, pretty much, you know, it, it, it goes back to the mode you were in and, and you're back to, uh, to normal. So pulling it off. Putting it back on, plugging it in, and we're back. So while we're at it, let's talk about these two units. So the Timo Link RX, which is the receiver, and the TX, which is the transmitter, uh, you just get the unit, and uh, for the transmitter, you get a little antenna, and then you get a cable. You get uh, USB-C to USB. If I were to change over to the DMX it, 
let's see what happens. So if, uh, if I turn this on, so I'm going to re patch this. So just, there's a little button that says reset. So I'm going to reset that. So that just turns that off. And then instead of calling that receiver from the AKS, you know, by hitting this button, I'm going to hit this button, which is the power button, but it also sort of um, calls out to whatever's out there. And sure enough, we've made connections. So now these are red and the lights on here are red as well. So red to red. And now I'll bring this up. It's kind of a flash there at the beginning. Who knows, you know, this is a little more analog. Uh, now that's full and full. So um, let's see where we are color wise just on this. Okay, so that's 6,700. We'll come down on that. 56. Okay, so there just analog wise, we have full output. No, 140. There we go. All right. So that is uh, now I have control through the transmitter to the receiver and works great. You know, um, this is a sort of a simple way if you don't want to get into, uh, I don't know, uh, iPad or uh, other controllers. This is a simple way to have a number of units. You know, you have 24 channels. You ostensibly can have 500 channels, if, but you can't have them all at the same time. You have to sort of uh, click in through. I don't know. It, it's it's a little involved. Here you'd have 24 channels. So if if you put all of your units into you know smallest amount of of channels for what you're doing, uh, this would be a way to uh, to control that. And so it can be a nice way to have a, a, a corporate stage or something like that. If it's a small enough one, then anybody can use it because it's just a bunch of sliders. So anyway, um, there you have it. That's sort of comparing those two units with a little extra about uh, uh, these sort of new uh, wireless units, uh, very affordable. Uh, the nice thing about these two units is that they swivel. Nice thing about uh, these um, uh, centennas as well, you know, that, 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 um, being able to swivel gets it into funky places on the backs of lights, uh, and, uh, can save you because like some receivers do not swivel. Do check them out. So in summary, you've got another two by two that you can choose from. The Amaran comes in full color, but also comes in bicolor. So, uh, you know, I didn't get to compare that. You do have the consideration of green magenta that you can't pull out easily. You can put up gel, of course. Uh, but in the scheme of things, if you're just using a few lights for an interview or whatever, um, add to a kitchen ambience or something, probably not going to be a deal killer. So handy light, good output, and can work off of 14 or 26 volt bats, which is handy. Uh, and it's nice that it can also tie into a uh, higher end um, control, uh, but you can also keep it very simple or put it on uh, an app. So uh, lots of ways to go and uh, another tool in the arsenal. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.